Hello to everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The 2024 RC Rally season is officially over. In this season I took part in 16 RC Rally events, 8 in Czech Republic, 7 in Poland and 1 in Czech, Czech Republic. And it has been an amazing journey. In Poland I was able to win a RC Rally Regional Championship. In Czech Republic my best result was a 7th place and in Spain, the last rally of this uh, RC Rally season, I got 8th um, eight, uh, eight place. In general, I'm happy. It has been an amazing season. I've met a lot of uh, new people, I've made uh, new friends, I saw new cars, new race courses and uh, so on. But uh, what's most uh, important for me is uh, to be happy to be here on YouTube sharing my experience and passion for RC Rally with all of you and to see all your positive feedbacks. Taking part during an event or also here while working on my car and trying to show you new things, it requires time and energy. And I really felt your support for this season, for your comments. I see some, some of you sharing my videos around on the groups that talks about uh, RC cars uh, in general. So thank you for your likes and uh, all of these uh, things that uh, for me really matters because they motivate me a lot in order to continue this journey here on this platform. Also, you can see a bit of mess behind me because a few days ago I took part in a live in an Italian uh, RC YouTube channel and uh, let's say thanks to my YouTube channel also RC Rally is becoming more and more popular not only around Europe and the world and but also in my home country which is Italy and, they, and that makes me happy because honestly I would like to see uh, RC Rally to grow more and more to see more people in the events and to enjoy more to, all together this, uh, this fantastic uh, games. Remaining here in this topic of the lives I have the idea to do a live here on my YouTube channel before the end of the year, let's say on a, on a Sunday or on a Saturday. Uh, it depends by you, let me know in the comments. I know that many people follow me from the uh, American continent and because of that maybe I'm going to do it, uh, I'm going to do this live around uh, 9 p.m. European time, which is going to be around 1 p.m. in uh, USA, correct me if I'm uh, if I'm wrong. So if you like me to do this uh, live, so we can just uh, talk uh, a bit. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you, if this is a good uh, idea. So I will try to find a bit of time in order to arrange uh, everything. Also, uh, just about talking about the, the world. Uh, a big thank you to all the people that let me know that they follow me. Let's say from Australia, Korea, United States, and. Uh, and so on. I started this journey two years ago. The channel is growing, more than 3,000 uh, subscribers, and uh, uh, it's good. It's, uh, it's a good uh, result, and also I'm talking in front of the camera, and uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of there are a lot of you <laughs> watching my 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 video. Later on in the video, as per title, I'm going to suggest you the electronics for your next RC release season. Uh, before of that, let's. Uh, a touch a bit of, of topics. I like to do this kind of video in order to rearrange uh, what's going to happen in the upcoming uh, weeks about what I'm going to, to post and to choose together with you uh, what to film. Uh, because right now uh, I'm during the, the winter break, I have a lot of uh, free time and uh, I'm planning to do a video about uh, explaining you how to organize a RC Rally event, how to set in a proper way a RC Rally course and uh, so on, because I observe uh, what uh, people post about uh, RC Rally and uh, uh, I see that, let's say, in places where RC Rally is not popular and people are trying to bring uh, RC Rally in uh, their communities, uh, countries, I see that, uh, let's say, these courses have too much uh, straights and because of that you need to uh, run a lot uh, uh, behind the, the car, but if you add more tarts, you run less and you are able to, let's say, do a fast walking and enjoy the, uh, the game. I'm saying that because 
I received a few feedbacks that uh, some people are scared about uh, RC Rally because uh, they thought that you need to run uh, a lot. Of course, it depends by the event, by the organizers, but I think it's important to, let's say, do a video in order to suggest to you, to the people that organize RC Rally events, uh, to give you some hints about uh, how to make these events more, let's say, enjoyable and to adapt it to the uh, level of the people that are coming to to play RC Rally with, uh, with you. Also, I read uh, around what people uh, write about uh, RC Rally, about uh, my videos and so on, not only here on my YouTube channel, but also around. And uh, maybe in this season I did a mistake because uh, one year ago I was using a, a Tamiya and uh, during this year I focused a lot myself on the X-Ray converted into RC Rally. So the buggy or the touring cars from X-Ray converted into RC Rally. And I think that uh, some people misunderstood uh, this uh, and now they think that uh, in order to play RC Rally and have fun in RC Rally or if you want to be competitive in RC Rally, you need to buy an X-Ray and, and uh, you need to convert it into a RC Rally car. Uh, no, that's, uh, that's wrong and uh, I want to repeat here in this video uh, that uh, if you want to play RC Rally, everything is good for RC Rally. Of course, you need to increase the ground clearance, you need to modify the chassis in your own way in order to increase the string angle and everything can be enjoyable for uh, RC Rally. If you want something out of the box in order to play RC Rally, in this moment the best chassis, in my opinion, is the Tamiya. XV02 or the XV01 or also Tamiya TT02, it can also be good, but it needs a lot of uh, customizations. I'm not talking about the aluminum parts, but uh, need to modify it in order to increase the ground clearance, increase the ceiling angle and so on. I will put a link in the description because uh, a few months ago I reviewed a uh, Tamiya TT02 for uh, RC Rally and a lot of other chassis that you can just buy directly from a RC shop. Another topic that I want to touch in this, uh, in this video, uh, close to the button uh, subscribe, there is a new button, in English it should be join. Uh, I added an additional subscription, if you want to take part and uh, support in, my, in a more active way uh, my work here. Uh, my YouTube channel is going quite, uh, quite well, I have some project uh, uh, back in my mind, like let's say buying a Tamiya XV02 and uh, modify it only using part that you can buy for RC Rally so everyone can enjoy and maybe copy this setup and uh, how, I'm how I am going to modify this, uh, this uh, chassis. This uh, projects or this project requires a, a budget and uh, in order to speed up this, uh, this process, uh, these uh, ideas that uh, I have, or in order to uh, improve the gear that I use uh, to film uh, this video, I added this uh, subscription. If you subscribe, uh, the advantages are quite, uh, quite uh, simple, uh, like priority in the comments, uh, or you will be able to, when possible, to see the, the videos uh, before Friday, which is the day that I usually use to, to post them. Uh, and that's all because uh, the idea, uh, don't get me wrong, is to don't uh, give too much advantage to the people that uh, decide to support me a bit, uh, a bit uh, more because uh, it's something additional and I'm really already happy to all of you giving a like, watching my videos, sharing them to, to support me. So I added this in order to have uh, more support in uh, my channel and uh, I'm grateful to the people that are going to, to join, let's say, this, <laughs> this program, call it, let's call it in, a, let's call it in, this, uh, in this way. Uh, about this, the topic of uh, today's video, the electronics for the RC Rally car, uh, I want to give you some uh, suggestions in order to uh, guide you uh, and to make you save some money without buying the, the wrong uh, uh, items, uh, the servo. You need a fast servo for uh, RC Rally, at least if you are talking of the speed, the 0 0.050, it could be, it could be very, very good. In the description I'm going to leave the name of the servo that I'm using right now, it's a, it's a Savox. Uh, then uh, about the engine, I suggest you to use uh, a 
13.5T uh, brushless uh, sensored uh, engine. In this season I used a 10.5T, it was uh, fun to, to drive but uh, too powerful and too fast, uh, my mistake. I switched from 17.5 to 10.5 but uh, the right answer is in the, uh, in the middle. About the uh, DSC, I'm going to leave all the details in the, in the description. Uh, I use also a hobby wing by something that uh, allows you to use a program card and a ESC that is able to uh, making you switch uh, the power to 7.4 volts so you'll be able to use a servo at its maximum capacity. Uh, be aware that not all the servos are able to run on 7.4 v, v mode so take care also about this uh, technical aspect while choosing and buying uh, uh, a servo and uh, what else guys i think uh, that's all i think that uh, i touch all the most important uh, topics so just in order to do a, a summary thank you everyone for for following my channel and uh, for support uh, this uh, my work here on uh, on YouTube. Let me know what you think about uh, the live that I would like to, to do before the end of the, of the year. It's going to, let's say, a, a celebration of this uh, season and of this almost two years on, uh, on YouTube. It can be a nice experience for, uh, for all of us. Uh, if you want to give an additional support to this project, uh, consider to click the uh, join button. Uh, the electronics uh, fast servo 13.5T uh, engine and yeah if you want to if you want me to film a particular video I don't know about the tires uh, uh, customizing some parts uh, differential oil and so on uh, let me know also in the comment section because uh, it's winter break I have a lot of uh, free time and uh, we can uh, discuss about those these topics um, together and I can film some specific video uh, uh, for you. Okay, I think that's all. Thank you for staying with me. Uh, let me know about uh, your plans for 2025 and see you next week for a new video. Ciao!